Hi there and welcome to this video on testing rear parking sensors using a multimeter. This is the display of my car which is a Peugeot 307 and as you can see if we start the engine and put it into reverse we get a message saying that the rear parking assistance system is faulty. Now this is just to show you the sensor on my car. There's actually a panel that runs along the back bumper and you can see there's one sensor in view there and it's retained by a little plastic clip which you can lever up and when you do that you can push the sensor through out the back of the hole. Obviously different cars will have different arrangements but once you've got your sensor off it's likely to look something very much like this. You can see in the end we've got three pins and if we actually look at those three pins the if you actually look closely with a magnifying glass or using a camera on your mobile phone you'll see that they're actually numbered as shown in this diagram and there's a lot of testing that can be done but it seems from the research I've done and my own experience that it's the pins one to two that make the difference so we're going to be testing as you can see there with the red probe on pin one and the black probe on pin two now this is just to show you two old sensors that I took off the car and the reason for showing that is that these two behave in different ways I believe actually both of them are faulty but you'll see what I mean in a minute so if we set the resistance to the highest possible resistance on the multimeter which is 200 K or sorry 2000 K and what we're going to be doing is testing between as you saw in the diagram between pins 1 and pins 2 so we're going to be putting our red probe you can just see the pins there with the uh, three pins one at the top and two at the bottom we're going to be putting the red probe on the bottom right which is pin 1 and then we're going to be putting the black probe on pin 2 which is the top middle one. Now I reiterate again this is with the multimeter on the highest possible setting and you'll see later when we test a new one that it has a much lower resistance but on this very high setting we can at least get a reading on the multimeter uh, on the multimeter of about 900. If we were to test either of these sensors on the lower setting like 20k for example we just get open circuit again if we put the you can see the pins more clearly with the beige plastic but if we put the red on pin 1 and the black on pin 2 we just get open circuit so I think probably both of these old sensors that came off the car are duff certainly this one is um, I think this one is questionable and may well work uh, but certainly this one is is duff I decided for various reasons to replace all of mine uh, so if we look now you can see in the picture now we've got an old sensor and a brand new sensor so the one on the right of the two is a brand new sensor also you can see I've reduced the setting on the multimeter right down to 20k so it's not on 2000k anymore it's on 20k this is a brand new sensor and this is the box that it came in so this is for the Peugeot cost about 11 pounds and I think ones for other vehicles may be more or less expensive but I decided as I say to uh, replace all of mine this is an old one off the car so starting with the new one you can see very clearly now the pins in the triangle formation and 
as I say, with the setting on 20k, we now get a very clear resistance level showing 9.9 .9 on that scale. And again, just for clarification, this is one of the old ones measuring on the same scale, we get open circuit. So it may well be that that one that I showed you earlier when we were on the other scale would have worked, but I decided to replace all of mine uh, for good measure and I replaced, replaced them all and the parking system is working perfectly. I hope this solves some of your problems out there and good luck.